name is Paula Marshall. You might know me through my blogs. What I've decided to do is get high tech and get into the world of all the people who are now video blogging. So I'm going to be creating a series of vlogs designed to help you change the way business is done in America because that's what my mission is. I started in my family's business back in 1971. I started as a clerk. I started at the very bottom of our organization. So when I first started working, I experienced our company as a young person, much like many of you, just working in our family's business. I saw with firsthand eyes what would happen when my father, who was the owner, came, came down to talk with our employees. I saw some days I, I saw joy in their eyes and other days I saw fear in their eyes. I saw the difference of what would happen when my father would ask them a simple question and break a joke with them, crack, crack a joke and have them completely laughing. I saw the release in their bodies and in their minds. I saw them actually become quite a bit more productive when they felt his love and his respect. I also experienced firsthand what would happen when my father was very angry and what would happen when he started to yell or even in some cases scream. What happened was people became very, very defensive and very afraid and actually we used to make a joke about it after my father would walk away from one of his um, upset temper tantrums. We would uh, talk about how the machinery would, would break down. All the machines that made our wonderful products would break down. And I realized what would happen to the work site after my father walked away. No one was producing anything. People were emotionally upset and distraught. People were highly concerned if they were going to have a job the next day or not. And what I learned is when you look at the difference in those two workplaces, one joy-filled, one productive, one happy and teamwork abounding, and really love for each other was what propelled everyone forward to try to do better and better. Versus the angry work site that my father left, it was, it was non-productive. It was sad. It was a, a lot of picking up the pieces, emotional pieces, and a lot of all of us coming together trying to help each other put ourselves back together so that we could get back to work. And it was the most dramatic change that I ever saw in my life. The two different workplaces. Today, I am CEO of our family's business. I'm fortunate to be a head of a 1,400 team member organization. I met a gentleman in 1992 that changed my life by the name of Dr. W. Edward Deming. And he showed me a way to actually produce consistent results, much like the workplace that my father and I experienced when he was in a good mood, when he was happy. Dr. Deming had a system and a process that actually made having a great environment at work a possibility. It made it a, a, an outcome that you could predict. It made systems and processes work for people instead of against people. It also held management very accountable for the work of their team members. And as I told you in the beginning, when I was working for my father, Knowing the difference between a really poor work site and a happy work site, I was pleased to be able to become a huge fan of Dr. W. Edward Deming and even today deploy his practices, his theories, and his 14 obligations of management into the workplace at Bama today. I believe so strongly in these philosophies that I'm here to help you change the workplace that you're in. I believe it can happen. I believe America can be great again. I believe we can stop the executives from taking the millions of dollars out of the corporations and put it back into the new corporate America of tomorrow and train the employees 
and share the profits with everyone and not just leave the profits in the hands of very few who can actually do very little to improve the work sites. I'm happy to be able to share all of these philosophies, philosophies with you and I hope as I begin my vlog series that you will join me on YouTube, on Facebook, on Twitter to learn how we together can make America great once again. Thank you.